Okay, here we go. Here we are. We are live. This is Graham of Now in Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. Can you believe it? No. Well, here, here we are. Look, I don't know if that proves it. It looks like an airport. What's happening? You, you, what did you think of the video? I got to 10 minutes and then it's, I kept, it kept dropping off. Okay. So I thought, okay, that's a, that's a, a sign. Because you, know, you started. And I know that moment of you start. And, and it's like, whoa. How do, I, how do I describe my life's work? Where do I, where do I begin? <laughs> and then you were really, I, I love the pace. You were really clear. No errors or eh. Very clear, and then when it got to transfer back to them, sort of, did you guys understand that they seemed, they seemed a bit heavy. They, they seemed quite, wow, that's a lot to take in. <laughs> and there, and then when you got to the values and and all of that, that's when it kept dropping out. But um, the the thing was, I was trying to understand what's the background to this, what's the context, how did you meet these guys, what they're doing. Um, and also, when you ask them about their value system and their intention, it seemed as if they just were sort of making it up on the fly, but that may be wrong, which is my impression. No, because th they had already done a previous exercise of identifying 10 values. So with they, you? They had not yeah. with you on their own. So they, they came okay. with 10 values already done. Okay. And then later on, I take them through the process of of putting them on different spots on the interface. Okay. How did they find you? I think it was mutually through maybe Brett of New Map, through Facebook. I think okay. he reached out and then we just started talking and then he told me about what he was sort of doing, I guess, and I slowly, you know, it didn't take that long, but I mean, I think we all just have to check out credibility about who people are, right? Um, especially in other lands. And uh, But he told me last time that the person, one of those people had never spoken to a white man on the internet before. Okay. <laughs> so, and I don't know if that's just an offline too. I don't know. But I mean, you know, I'm just some silly Canadian, you know, just... <laughs> <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> I can just. I mean, you know, at some point in the future, a little documentary is made, maybe a little video here. <laughs> Here's these three chaps from Uganda online with a guy. With, okay, you're not wearing your hat on the video, but <laughs> they'd be like, "What was that about? What was all that?" You know. And <laughs> they're they're uh, it's great. They're remarkably open, and uh, I really like them. They. They inspire me by, I can just sense their sincerity and how they really, um, they want to make changes, you know, and they're actually listening and paying attention and do, doing the work necessary to keep this going. Yes, and it's worth noting and reminding myself that I set an intention, I think a month ago, to meet uh, Russians, Chinese and Africans. So this, this feels, ah, okay, here we are. And then um, the, the chap, Clover, he contacted me. Clovis, so, yeah. Clovis. Yeah. So I have had experience, not in Africa, but I had uh, a, a good experience in a corporate company working with uh, a charity called Comic Relief. It's a very large charity in the UK, and it works with celebrities and comedians. And, uh, yeah. The, the money that goes to Africa, where does it go? How does it end up where it's supposed to end up? These are, you know, so oh, a hat tip to those guys to say, like, we're going to do this. So what they've got money, they've got, what, is it just an idea? Or they, what, what, where so they, they at? They, I think they want to open the school in 2019. They're all, okay. I think, currently working in the normal school service. They mm -hmm. kind of have to build build up the infrastructure this year as they go. They've identified a, a spot that they can, uh, I guess, rent. They're only asking 
I think deep down is twenty thousand dollars to start the school. And then, and then, 200, I think 200 kids to start, 200 to 500, and I think the last little while, a nonprofit organization that knows Clovis has pledged to pay for 100 kids to go to the school. He's already attracted that kind of support, and I think that happened after they did the values. I'm, I'm not sure. I, I may be wanting okay. to be that way, but I do know that when you do make the value system, magical things start to happen. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> very busy around here, very noisy. Um, and I'm looking at a white elephant. Whenever I see elephants, I always think, what's the elephant in the room? What's the thing that's not being said? Well, I, I, uh, thought of, yeah. I thought of something. You said you are you separated? You suffering. <laughs> well, suffering and separated. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm. I suppose I'm used to this. I'm. Uh, I find myself this past ten years, or well, maybe twelve actually, uh, in very very intense relationships with people. Who, uh, who who I break from in cycles. So I split from my mentor seven times in 12 years. I'm with Susanna, my, uh, the mother of my son, to be very accurate and clear, um, she, four times in seven years. So there's a boom and bust cycle, an explosion, and the resonance at certain points in the relationship just and explodes. And explodes in me, and then I, for therefore, I have to deal with the internally with the output of that. So it's a bit like volcano energy, and then there's fertility after that, and there's a new new seeds can be born. So the main learning for me was for my ex mentor, I had to sever that relationship quite severely to say no more, I can't do that anymore. And then now with the mother of my son, again, I cannot go back to that environment. So I now have to deal with the fact that I will not see my son grow up. Oh, you, you're... I stuck in this very strange face. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I guess that's your, <laughs> your expression that's about how you feel. That's my suffering face of shit. But then I've got so many good uh, good friends and, and lovely lovely friends who say, listen, you know, and I've got no, no loads of psychics and shamans and people like that who say, listen, my sense is that your boy, Guillaume, knows that you have to do this. He chose you guys. He chose you as a daddy. He chose your mother. She'll give him the strong, stable support of the Spanish family system, which is very powerful. He will be fluent in Spanish. I will make sure he's fluent in English. And uh, he, he loves to play. So we'll, we'll, we'll pop in. <laughs> I can't look at that picture. I'm going to put my video on. <laughs> That'll come back to haunt me. No, strike, strike that. Strike that. <laughs> Yeah, so um, suffering is uh, something that uh, I'm not addicted to, but I seem to be, I seem to really enjoy it. Hey, guess what? <laughs> You're the same. <laughs> Just try Zoom, you can now have breakout rooms. You can. Did you not know that? I didn't know that. It's new. Yeah. So that goes, didn't you say something about having, that we all meet in Zoom? Well, the thing, the thing is that the, no, the breakout Zooms has been for a year because we tried it uh, a year ago. Oh. And basically, basically what happened is it's quite complex to, to organize. That's the problem. Because you say, right, okay, who, and the host has to organize who goes into each room. And if they want to come back in at the main room, how do you signal to the host? <laughs> so it's quite complex to organize. But my, my thought was there are many people who have spaces, shall we say, online that people can come in like a room. And if we just imagine together that we're all in some fancy mansion or hotel. Right. So you go down the corridor and then you go and meet Elijah and then he's going to tell you about this stuff. Then you go upstairs, there's conversation experiments. 
and you can move around and here's a list of the timings. So at 9 a.m. you've got this, 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 this room is open for four hours. You can pop in and out whenever you want. And it's all recorded and it's all then somehow edited and shaped into a, a documentary which can then get get funding and Zoom will go, we love these guys, we want to throw money at them so they can, because man, they are doing stuff with people in Uganda and Russia and China and they're competing against Microsoft and competing against, so we want to help Zoom win. So you, you've really got this money plan down pat. Got the what, sorry? You've really got this money plan down pat, like you've really yeah. organized this. <laughs> To bring in the wealth for the very secret plan, I can see that. Well, it's uh, the th the, I was with my Austrian the past two days in Amsterdam. We had a we agreed in our usual meeting and we play our own games, and it's called uh, Game of Now Dot Rocks. And because he's an Austrian rock, he's from Graz, which if people are listening to this, that's where Franz Ferdinand was born, the man who was shot that started the First World War. So it's a very powerful place, Graz. And uh, Austria is also a very powerful place. And they know money. They know how to organize. They know how to, they know how to make a system work. So he's my framework guy. He says, you're the floating guy. You're the emerging guy. I will give you a frame so you don't flow all over the place and start scaring people fucking crazy, okay? <laughs> That's his job. <laughs> well, I like it how you've got whole countries with specific skills. It's nice to know that everyone in... Austria can organize money well. <laughs> I'm sure that's not true for everyone, but he certainly <laughs> uh, he certainly has got his finger on the pulse. He's got his own system and ways. And what he said to me was, what, what we need to set up is a, a realization network and uh, a realization framework. Uh, so one, once there's a realization network and a realization framework, the framework will then allow for the, the realization to happen. So is it the realization of values? It could be. I can, uh, I can bring him into that conversation because he, this is very important to him. Yes, to tell him that you, you've got someone who's got a, a, a framework for realizing values. Okay. His name is Wolfgang Wolzein. Wolfgang. Which, mean, which means uh, leader of the wolves and uh, Wolzein means well-being. Oh. So Wolfgang well-being is a very interesting name. Yeah. And what about you? You're obviously tired at sort of midnight or half midnight. You notice my yawns? <laughs> Well, it's hard not to. <laughs> uh, You're getting uh, yeah, can, yeah, I can put my foot in there. I'll try. I'll try my video if I come back. My back. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Isn't it nice telling your most heartbroken secrets and they're yawning at you? <laughs> Listen, I, I tell you, there are some videos online when I'm talking about the porn I stole when I was 13. So it was like. You know, and then all that kind of stuff. So at some point, you go, ah, who cares, you know? <laughs> he gets to the point. <laughs> He's like, I just can't be asked for this anymore, so I'll just, just tell, tell anything, you know? <laughs> so Wolf, Wolf, Wolfgang and I, he was saying, we came into the airport, he says, we need some tantric sex places in airports because, you know, it's, people are so afraid and there's so much stress. We need some tantric sex and, or masturbation areas where you can just, you know, go and just basically have a wank, get off, and then you feel better, you know? I feel better. <laughs> and I would, absolutely, let's, let's order that one up. This is the leader of the pack. <laughs> he is, yeah. Okay. So I know many wolves. I know many. Uh, William Wolf is in uh, London. He's uh, a Russian Jew, uh, and uh, he's uh, a scribe. He's a, an artist. Uh, he does calligraphy. Um, yeah, so I, I know a lot of people, as do you, and, and, you know, we're all, as you say, we're all meeting, finding each other, bumping into each other, going, right, hang on, who, how does this fit? But, uh, you know, and then you've got Gene. Gene is like an ocean of consciousness, <laughs> waving, woof, you know, 
she's in like every group on the internet. She's she posts <laughs> a post every three seconds. She's tagging, <laughs> connecting, whining, and she loves me. And and so it's basically go cracker, go get talk to me here. So yeah, she will pop up all sorts of stuff and weave and connect and share and if we can get get her to say right here's and what I sense is this is an offer in terms of what's maybe happening in, in your life and mine and resonance and, and parallels is is how to pack that mind you've got that physical space how to pack it into something no I got it for three days left I'm, I'm evicted I'm out of here I'm out of here. But what, what, what I was going to say is how to transform that physical space into something smaller or in your laptop <laughs> or, in your, or, in, or, or something that's, that, that basically is a pop-up me- mental space. Because <laughs> I'm the same. All my stuff is in Susanna's loft and I've got to go and get it out. All my, sh- all my bric-a-brac. So... <laughs> I'm going to probably, I'm going to go and find it. I'm going to, be, I don't know, I'm going to buy a car and then stick it on a car and then park the car somewhere. I don't know. <laughs> Between the two of us, we, we have, our, our fleet is getting lower. Our number of trips are decreasing. It's hard, like, what I, what, what I noticed is my capacity for bringing new people in and being you know, present and to even just to spend the time to find out, you know, what someone's about is a major thing, right? I mean, it's, I can't imagine when thousands are coming in to learn whatever this is, even hundreds, maybe even 20, I can't imagine. Well, it's just, this is the key, I think, for me around uh, individuals' life work and how they weave together and how the names weave together and interact. So the al- alchemy of names and the alchemy of the language and the, the abracadabra I create as I speak so we can create, because if we, if we get to resonance, whatever we say can happen very quickly. And it's getting to that resonance point, which is the hard bit. Hmm. Just, I mean, it's even harder myself, never mind with another person, never mind with three, three people, fuck. <laughs> You know, well, you know, where should we go for dinner tonight? Uh, Chinese? No, I don't want to go. To, we did that last time. It can take fifteen minutes just to decide where to go and eat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some people can't tie their shoelaces. So you know, it's like we're living in a world where, like, the basic stuff is uh, can be really, really hard. And then we got we've got some fucking guy, Elon Musk, sending ships into space. How does that happen? You know. So he can do that because he can do that because the other half of the world can't tie the shoelaces. Right. Or maybe he's just doing things just a little bit better than we are. <laughs> well, he's got the boring company. I don't know if you've heard that he's drilling holes under Los Angeles. So he started a company called The Boring Company. Ha ha. Uh, uh, but it might be because he's just uh, an android and exceptionally boring. Might be, but... You know, and, and this is able to get things done. Right. And if you're a creative emotional mess, you can create <laughs> things. But, like, look at this. I got this nice little card set of new cards. The superhero. Got the superheroes. Okay. And so I've got the, you know, look at that. The villain admits... The villain admits how they and others did 9-11 and why. So within this card set, I've got, I've got a way to expose the 9-11 perpetrators. Shall and, we play a game now? Um, well, I don't it's know. 9, for, it's, here is 9-41, which is 30 minutes after 9-11. Look at the synchronicity. So, it's amazing. It's amazing. <laughs> Here's, the super team is caught in a trap by the villain. Maybe... Okay. He, Maybe me and you are just trapped in Zoom and we can't get out because we don't know how to press the button and we blame the villain. You know? I have been trapped in places by artificial intelligence, I believe. Like it, like it, one of the, the things that's happened in the past was that my bank just suddenly stops my card and I'm traveling 
and then I phone them and they say, you've got to phone us. So why do I have to phone you and pay money phoning you when you shut my account down? Then I get into a fight or an argument with the people at the customer service. They say, sir, please don't talk. They put the phone down. So then I've got to physically go to a bank, have the conversation, and it's like, it's like a day of my life trying to just sort out the fact that you shut my account down. That kind of stuff, you know? Yeah, it's like getting twenty dollars out of the bank and it costs you two fifty. It's like ten percent of your money's gone just to get some money that's yours, and that's yeah. okay these days. Like, <laughs> you, you might not have seen my thread, but the bank in Spain charged me wants to charge me four euros and thirty cents for cutting my card up. So he actually did it in front of me. Really? It took it. It must have the the energy required was maybe, you know. You could have pushed the button, and uh, that's a charge for doing that. So I've I've just said no, I'm not paying it, and now I receive an automated email every day, and I feel sort of now I've now got sixty of them, and I feel sort of comforting when I get the email every day from their automated systems. And what does it please, say that you owe four dollars? It, it says please pay. Uh, there's a charge for the liquidation of your card, not the account, the liquidation of your card. So please, can you pay that at the nearest branch at your convenience? Thank you very much. But why don't they just take it off your account like they normally do? I'm nothing. I took all the money out. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so I took the money out, closed the account, and the guy who closed it did not say, hey, listen, there's a four euro thirty charge for cutting my, the card up in front of you. I said, well, if you take that off, that'd have been fine. But you didn't. So now what? Well, computer says no. Computer says no. <laughs> I cannot override the system, sir. All right. Well, so maybe I'll make an art piece out of it. I'll take 1,000 emails, 1,000 days of emails to expose the, <laughs> the nonsense of these systems. You know, I'm just getting the impression that our particular super team is not quite dealing with the normal problems that other super teams deal with. <laughs> I think, I think we're, we're operating at a bit of a low level of societal improvement. It's, it's like, yeah, where's Mr. So-and-so? Oh, he's just, he fell down a hole. <laughs> like, crossing the street. <laughs> can you imagine there's us, we got this TV show, and we think this is good enough. That you talking about your... Four, four euros debt is worthy of a show. <laughs> or as uh, Wolfgang said downstairs, when I'm, I'm getting so upset trying to check in on my mobile just to, just to get on the flight, I've got to answer 20 questions to get to get a thing. And, he, and he's saying, here we are, the game of now, man, the guy who is so calm and controlled, going berserk over... <laughs> Checking in for his flight. Oh. He took on my bag, took my bags off me. Said, "I'm standing here. Take your time. We have 40 minutes. Answer the fucking questions, and then we'll we'll get out of here." So yeah. So you know how like in superhero movies, there's like an in between. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, know, you don't watch. The Hulk, or Thor, or any of those guys blowing their nose in an airport talking about inconsequential things to some guy in Canada. But, but we are getting that. <laughs> I'm, in this, uh, I'm in the main sun affair, crying my eyes out, and people are going, what? I wish I was that guy. <laughs> uh, I'll be arrested for being high or something. Rubbing your eyes, are you? <clears throat> I tell you another thing was that I these are Chinese herbs. Very nice. I I got off a Chinese guy yesterday. I went in and I just oh. and he said he went. Oh my God! He said yeah. sit down. He gave you two free bags. <laughs> Take no, that tongue out of here. <laughs> but the thing was, I just I'm trying to get to security with that. Ah. Oh. Oh dear, but blissfully, it, the guy said to me in perfect English, 
We don't care about Chinese herbs. What we care about is liquids. Oh. <laughs> and I was, that's very, that's very interesting. And he said, uh, I'm quite interested in Chinese herbs. Like, good. That's, that's good. It's good. So, okay, what should we, uh, what should we manifest? Let's manifest something. Because this super team is actually, it's, the other 18 are non-locally listening somehow. Right. Wherever they are, wherever they're asleep or whatever they're doing. So they don't even, we're so super that we don't even have to know who each other are. Well, I and see. We don't e and we don't even, they don't even have to be awake, as in like, daily, we're <laughs> awake in consciousness. So we just pick a random group of 18 people. I mean, that's it. We don't need anybody. We just need you and me and a random group of 18 people. <laughs> that's going to really catch on quick. <laughs> Me and you See, trying you to start the plan by randomly picking anyone near us to be in our plan, and then they have to sort of take on the role of defending the planet. Yeah. Just ask anyone randomly. Excuse me. Are you, are you in the in the team? Yeah. yeah. Well, so you're saying that me is? Are you and I the only ones right now? Well, we're we're the only ones here. Did we, did we lose Gabriel? Gregory, no, 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 they, they're, all, they're all still here and they may or may not watch this Tom Fillery. Oh, uh, I, don't know, I don't know who, I don't know who watches anything really. No. But can you but, um, watch this? I can't. <laughs> yeah. You're going to sort of, you're going to vaguely drop in something exceptionally brilliant randomly at some point and say, listen, we have to wait until okay. the 23rd minute. I'm going to share a screen and, and bring something in that, okay. Okay. I like that. Perfect. Now you see, this is a perfect way to organize billions of different choices. You get that? So you've got what's happening on the inner, on the outer, the individual and the group. So yeah, those, are those, those are observations that you're making. You choose one lens from each one of those. Uh huh. And then you get a language telescope. Let me see if I can see here. We chose spirituality from the harmony wheel, transformation from the symmetry wheel, values from the flow wheel, and right valuing from the choice wheel. So now we're looking through right valuing, through values, transformation, and spirituality. Isn't that just mind blowing? It is. So yeah, make a note, please. Something amazing happens at that at minute, whatever well, twenty twenty five. I, I just lost you on my screen now. I'm, uh, oh, there you go. I lost. Am I back? Am I back? Yeah. No, lost you again. Well, was that exciting enough for our? You see, let's just. I want to tell you part of my plan. You see, after we're both killed, then we're going to gain the recognition that we so deserve, but we can only get it after we die. They will then look at this video afterwards to find out how we did what we did to get killed, and then they'll think, oh, they're just a bunch of jokers, but then the secret map comes in and they go, ah, okay. And if there's any CIA, FBI people watching us, They'll just watch the beginning and go, these guys, we don't got to worry about these guys at all. Like, these guys are not. You know actually, and I must, if, 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 if you're watching, whatever intelligence agency is watching, you know, maybe you press the wrong button and you, and you thought, no, no, not that kind of intelligence. Right. But, the, I, you know, there are other perspectives towards dying. So I'm not, I'm not I don't want to die quite yet. No. Uh, and I think the, the Tom Fullery, and, oops, sorry. I almost kicked up this. Very nice. Sorry. Um, <laughs> it's it's so ridiculous. The more ridiculous it is, the more crazy it is. The, the less they pay attention to you. I know. Because you think you think there's absolutely no way that these guys are doing anything. But actually, well, that's what I said. 
you know, wherever I'm going, I'm tickling people, I'm waking them up, I'm giving them a bit of love, a bit of tenderness, and it has a huge effect. I can I've see been, that. I've, I've been running around giving people wolf pigs all over Amsterdam, and I've got, my Wolfgang's main thing to me is, we have to learn how to oppose people so they don't run away from you. <laughs> because the, I, <laughs> guys, this guy's just, hello, so wave at this guy, wave to him. Can you wave to him? This guy, hey. he's in Canada. What's the name? His name is Elijah. Elijah. And what's your name? Rajiv. Rajiv. Hey. From Toronto. Okay, so wait. Where are you? Canada. Canada. He's from Toronto in Canada. Okay, I want to talk to him. Hi. He's got, has he got time? He wants to talk to you. Here, he's from, he's from Vancouver. From Vancouver. Hello. How you doing? I'm fine. How are you? Doing very good, and we're sort of having a bit of an experiment because both of us are very famous game designers, and we're two of 20 people that are going to fundamentally change the nature of our species, and we need 18 more people to be on our super team, and most of the people around us, uh, we, 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 we want That's someone nice. random who's walking by right now, and it was you. Oh. So, okay. we, so we think that we could – attract 18 other superheroes to help us like save the world and right now you could be one of them not at this moment no okay no see you okay thank you thank you very much you see yep it's it's building that's for that he just, just a number game just he keep completely that. Zoomed right in and was laughing his head off, and he didn't even know why. And then he he, he just goes, "Okay, here, put my my ears are clean. Put this on." <laughs> this from Toronto. Fuck. Ah, Tr crazy. We need someone to open up Toronto. Well, I've got someone there. Uh, she's named Raiji. She's she look up tag three T A G Tango Alpha Golf number three. Right. I'll consciousness technolo consciousness technology. Really? Yeah. So, and, uh, and, and uh, if you look at her profile cover photograph, it's the same as my, one of my photographs in Vienna. Really? It's, it's nearly the same photograph. So I reached out to her That's because Anna, Anna Dean in Holland looked at their consciousness stuff and said, oh, that looks like a loose farm. You just want to loose our energy and turn us into vegetables. So right. I, I, I told her, I, I found the owner because I knew the person who told me about it, wrote to her, said, I want to see your face. I want to talk to you. I want to see your head moving. And I said, this is a message from the European, the, the, the Federation of European Trust Building or whatever. I don't know what I said. But the idea that a friend of mine in Latvia has is that we need to create a producer team that basically whatever that group team says is done. And if any member of their associated affiliate appears in your environment and they say, hey, you're not playing the game, you're not playing fair, oh, you don't want to fuck these guys off because then your, your business will go down the tubes in a day. Right. So my grand vision was that basically you'd have all the banks playing against each other for domination. If they don't play fair, basically you're out of the game and we're left with four or five really ethical banks that are very transparent because their CEOs are showing themselves on video doing what we're doing now. And we're going to, I want to see you blow your nose. We challenge the CEOs. If I don't see you blow your nose in one day, <laughs> we're not going to, we're taking money, the money out of your bank. It's unstoppable. It's brilliant. Unstoppable. So we basically, wherever you go, you're spreading this kind of new paradigm wisdom. What I think, that's one way of putting it. Another way I, I sense is that uh, I have to be very careful of my intentions and my state. If, if I go too fast, people can fall over. I can fall over. There can be all sorts of confusion. People, if my eyes get stuck like that, people shit themselves. <laughs> so I've got to be smiling and, and, and gentle and, and look away. But if I want to look at you, you. 
<laughs> so, yeah, it's that. That's the so that's challenge. Are you in Amsterdam going to Scotland, or are you? I'm in. Uh, I'm in Schiphol Airport, which is one of the greatest in Europe because the Wi-Fi you can access it in one click. So thank you, Schiphol, if you're listening. And I'm flying to London Gatwick, and then I'm going from Gatwick to head up to a place called Emerson College, named after Emerson, the famous writer, American writer. And there I have many, many friends. I did my storytelling training at that college. So I'm a professionally trained storyteller. Nice. Uh, oral, oral tradition. Nice. Uh, Performance-based. So... Um, I'm going there to see some friends because that's a bit of love, just a bit of hug. You're all right. Yeah, we're okay. And then I'll head off to meet Prance, as I said. If he checks in, he might not want to see me. And then if I see him in Newcastle, then I'll head to my, my mother's birthday is on the 1st of Feb, which is Thursday, which is after the full moon. So that's a, that's a big... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meet my sister. I've got to meet my mother. I've got to meet my father. I'm going to sit down and talk about <laughs> their son who they think I'm mentally ill. So it's very hard to get that concept out of their head when they're projecting all over me. And I'm saying, yeah, but I think the way you live your life is mentally ill. Right. So how do we play the game of power to say, well, you know, as dear old Ronnie Ling, you know, the, the Glaswegian psychiatrist said, you know, how does an, a sane person adapt to an insane society? You just can't do it. So the, those who seem insane are the sane ones. Right. And you end up in this mirror of, yeah, but I'm more sane than you. How can you say, well, that's because we have the law. Right. <laughs> and we have the prescriptions. So it's very hard to get that through to people. You just can't. You can't understand that if you're in that fishbowl of all I, all I know is water and glass. So that's all there is. And you can't take somebody into it because they can't see what they can't. You can't see in somebody else what you cannot see in yourself. That's the sort of essence of it. Oh. So it seems we, we, we both have a similar uh, situation where we might have a few people thinking we're mentally ill. Yep. And, we, and we may think that many people are mentally ill. And... I guess each of them is is uh, maybe looking for context control of the conversation. Exactly, because somehow there's an information overload that makes them very nervous. And <clears throat> like, for example, my sister does it very well. Actually, she says, "You've now stepped beyond the boundaries of sensible conversation." <laughs> That's my sister's way of wow. stop. Which is a very, okay, if that's the agreement that you say that, if I'm too much. Do they like yeah. you? Uh, I think my, no, the, my, my mother and sister are terrified of me. And my father has Alzheimer's and couldn't give a fuck about anything. He's like, yeah. He's, he's like in his, he's, He's there. He's in the now all the time. Is he? Yeah. He's. Nice. I said to him. I said to him, "Are you reading reading anything, Dad?" He said, "Yeah, probably." <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, it's, sorry, don't know, don't know, don't know. So he treats it quite humorously. Do they have a good sense of humor? My dad does. Yeah. My mum is. Uh, my my mum's an awfulizer. So everything's awful. So she awfulizes everything. Everywhere she goes, she awfulizes it. It's just awful. It's too sunny. There's cake. It's very nice, but it's an awful place. So it's like every single thing is the opposite of, you know, a way of looking at something that could be beautiful. So when I meet her, I've got to really change my frequency and my vibration, bring it down to almost, you know, high... And then I've got to I've got to go in, say what I have to say, and then get out before the whole thing explodes. <laughs> so, would they? I'm on a. Would they I'm watch, on a money. Would they watch, would they watch this? <laughs> <laughs> they would send it immediately to the appropriate authorities. 
And see, we now have the video evidence for locking them up for as long as we desire. Wouldn't that be funny, eh? Our little chats become the evidence for to have us both thrown away. <laughs> uh, uh, dear. I love this. I really enjoy I enjoy myself in your presence. Thank you very much. <laughs> Let me think about that one. <laughs> well, I couldn't be I couldn't be enjoying this. I couldn't be doing what I'm doing if you weren't here. If you weren't here and I and I was just listening to music. Yeah. I wouldn't be having I wouldn't be able to be laughing and sharing and enjoying myself. So because you are I am. You know, ah. so it's that that's that whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, there's, not, there's, there's, there's crazy wisdom. There's enormous wisdom in this <coughs> video. This could go viral. Yeah, but yeah, could. I, 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 I think it will after we both die, or at least me. <laughs> you, you die. You do that bit if you wanna. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang around. I'll. What do you want to sing at your funeral? Well, I want you to to have people know that I, I was always very irritated with them. <laughs> And that I, I, I wanted them all in the plan and they didn't weren't in the plan and that bugged me and that's why I always had a bit of an edge because I'm trying to get this plan going. And you know, if you can't even get your, your closest friends in, then what's you know, how am I supposed to get like the guy walking by? But you see, that's my normal way of doing things. It's like ask the wrong person at the wrong time and and then get mad at them for not wanting to be in, in the plan. Well, I'm about to say something very interesting. Well, I can't wait. Hang on. It's about time. <laughs> so, it's not a, it's sort of about time, but it's about something else. <laughs> There's a guy called David Kurt. Bless you, David. David is in his 80s. And he is the uh, golem uh, of Emerson College, of the place that I'm going to visit. He's time precious. Precious Emerson. He is obsessed with the place. And they ostracize him. They have kept him out for 50 years because he was one of the first students at the college. It's an anthroposophic college. I don't know if you know about anthroposophy. Rudolf Steiner and all that work. Yeah. So basically, he was the first of the 12. Really? There were 12 students based in England. And he was one of the 12. And he is, let's shall we say, difficult to deal with but I as always find the extreme people and he found me and latched on to me and I said right David so we would just meet and drink red wine and smoke cigarettes <laughs> and he would talk he would talk about the problems of dentistry in Iran and you know what we have to and off he would go and then he would go back to Emerson and I managed to get him a meeting with the chairman of the board nice because uh, I'd changed my energy to be able to make that link and David was very grateful and uh, the reason I say this is that what he says is that Steiner's definition of evil which is living backwards live backwards evil that's all it is Steiner's definition was wrong place wrong person wrong time the opposite is right person right place right time so it's it's the timing and knowing when to as you said from the aforementioned, I'll link back the aforementioned chart that you showed. If we're living in five dimensional consciousness where everything's connected to everything else, regardless of space and time, so that the amount of things that you could do right now are so vast, how does one decide? Hmm. And is are there points of decision making? And I think what you've done is created decision points, cycles of moon days it allows people to say right now is it's the full moon right now what now it's the end of a cycle now it's you know it's being able to create these points so people can i wouldn't say navigate within the 5d but at least realize where they are so they've got a reference point and then maybe it's the person they're with has to also identify or self-reference where are you well i'm here and i'm the, okay are we resonating no, I want to be by myself, or I want to talk about this, and and then you bring in three, and then that that becomes a skill and an art that that we will end up, or our descendants will end up teaching, and go, hey, that was great. <laughs> Listen, fuck my flights in twenty minutes. I better go. 
It'd be funny if you missed your play. That'd be good. <laughs> Tell that story. Where are you? I've talked to this guy in my team. And, uh, things just got carried away, you know. It'd be kind of All funny right. if, if every time we got together to do the game of Now Together, I'd screw you up in some way. And, and you just miss your I'm ended up, I've ended up to miss my connection. Someone's, I get, excuse me, sir, I'm being arrested, you know, or whatever. And my goal is to get, get on the plane. Okay, so I, I, I sense we're coming to the end of our chat. Well, we can, you can join me to the, to the gate. I think I'm gonna... Okay. This, this is, I can't really prove it's Schiphol yet. There's no way it says Schiphol. Are, are you walking like with the phone in front of you, kind of like this? You're just... Well, I'm doing that, look. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are. Is that... Welcome to Lounge 2. Where does it say Schiphol? It doesn't, doesn't say Schiphol. No, it's still no proof. Mind your step. So I've got to be careful because behind me there you've got guys with guns. Right. And the law is that apparently in certain public spaces you can you can just video well, I'm actually talking to my mother, it doesn't matter. But not they actually don't know that I'm videoing everything. Oh, somebody probably does. Oh I think I think I'm coming to the end of my my conscious awareness. <laughs> I completely understand. As exciting as it is to watch you walk around an airport, I, I think my <laughs> Asian I, anyone. But you can see the power of this. But if I if I basically end up with some gizmoidal sort of headset, whatever, I can basically just walk around the earth, and people can just say, "Hey, Graham, can you go and talk to that guy? That's my brother." <laughs> you know, so the potential of this is huge, and I call it. I'm I'm doing game running. I'm game running at the moment. I'm, I'm moving, I'm mobile, I'm in the, in the flow of the jets, the flow of life, I never, I never know what happens. Adventures all everywhere. Everywhere. Every single person is a gateway to potential wow, a whole game. world of potential of anything. Yeah. You should have a shaker with you. Maybe blue hair. Well, the thing about shaking is that uh, I, I can do the... <laughs> There's the shaker or there's the, the, the pink pig or I've learned the art of being very time careful with time because if I shout or do something like if I <laughs> yeah so I got <laughs> you've got to really get it right because you get it wrong well you, you game froze over again. <laughs> game okay but, but Graham I'm, I'm yeah. trying to gracefully <laughs> withdraw okay bye 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 <laughs> but i do bye <laughs> slowly uh but i just want to say great to talk with you and uh i'll load this up and the game of now and the uh planetary guardians has connected yet again for another episode of game of now shipful there you go there it is there just at the end okay